Alright guys, Carbon here. Uh, here I am doing a 17 minute uh, run uh, on Ascension. Got to round 29. Uh, this starts off with the rest of the guys uh, with nothing. They all died at 28. So here I am on uh, 29 just doing my thing right here. Uh, so I'm not going to talk throughout the whole thing, but uh, I'll uh, point out some things as they uh, as they come along. All right, so here we are at the uh, stamina. Um, right now, they left me. Uh, they all took off, three of them. So I'm stuck here by myself with a bunch of zombies. Uh, here I am trying to get away. So I run away, run away, hitting me. Oh, and the fire trap is still on. What do you know? So I kind of wait out. You know, try to kite him up. Oh, here we go. Oh, figure. So always one in your way. So they're off doing their own thing. I'm just, you know, trying to get back to them. Oh, someone got a ray gun. Love that new sound. Yep, turn on the turret. Cover my ass a little bit. Oh, there's Matkiss. Don't turn on the fire, don't turn on the fire. Ah, oh, you turned on the fire. Luckily, I, uh, I got through there. Um... Going upstairs, this would be cool. Now, this is a good spot to uh, to hide out. One person on each window, two people in the hallway watching the staircase. Uh, so calling it in. As you can see, I'm very low on. Uh, oh, Josh, Josh just went down. So me and Matt are still. Oh, crap, just went down. Oh, and Matt. Oh, everyone's down. Here it goes. Everyone's down. Oh. Oh, that got stuck on the lander. Oh yeah, I get him up here. All right. Ammo is definitely something that uh, we need at this point. And we take off. And Josh and Corrupt uh, are just lying down there. You gonna let them bleed out? It's couldn't get to them in time. Hey, it's what happens when you uh, when you leave me somewhere. Hey, to go off. It's, I blame them. <laughs> it's all their fault. Yeah, I've only gone down once this time. Or up until this time, I've only gone down once, so... For me, this was a pretty good game. So, Matt needs to grab some Juggernaut since he's been down. I still have all my fire. Oh my god, there are so many coming down. And Matt goes down. So many zombies. I'm running away. I say, screw that, Matt. You're on your own. You're, uh, you're dead. So, oh, oh, there it goes. Hate that little cooldown period. Leave those, leave those guys there. Let's see where am I going? Oh, back to speed. Cool. All right. And this is pretty much where I start doing my solo run. Probably, you know, looking back, I probably should not have bought that. Uh, for 3,000 points when I really didn't even use it. I could have used those 3,000 points later on. So, kind of upset that I did uh, buy that sickle. Anyway, so, oh! Gotta kind of around a little bit because of the cooldown period. Refueling. Now, this is a pretty easy place if you just kind of run them around in a circle here. You know, you can wait for it to uh, come back, try to collect as many as possible, and uh, kill them when you take off. Seems to be pretty proficient. Alright, so here I am just building up some of the, the border, some of the, <coughs> the barriers there. So now, this is pretty much the fire trap strategy. So what I do is, you know, I wait till I hear the zombies come and then I, uh, I flip the switch for the fire trap. It does last uh, quite a long time. So as soon as I do that, you know, I run to the lander, activate that, call it in, uh, you know, because that's my getaway. So here, you know, while I wait, I gotta run around and, but I have no ammo, so I really, I can't just kill these zombies, I 
have to, you know, kite them around and wait. Try and collect as many as possible. Some, some of these times I uh, take off a little early, I could have collected a few more. Uh, but when your adrenaline is going, you're solo and sometimes you, uh, you act too quickly. Now here I go uh, up the other staircase since I just came from uh, Speed Coal, they're all on that side of the map. So if I run this way, and, or I mean they're over at Stamina Up, so I run this way to Speed Coal, uh, I'm using the other side of the map. So it takes a little bit longer for them to run all the way over. Uh, so I mean, I'm pretty much splitting them up from one side of the map to the other using the fire traps and giving myself some time as they run across. Because if you don't, you can get stuck very easily in a hallway or a staircase or down at the centrifuge or wherever you're trying to get to. Make sure you're not running into the horde, you're running, running away from them. This pesky guy right here. Alright, so here I am taking it off. Here, uh, back to the centrifuge again. Alright. Now back up these stairs. That's the other way. Oh, and there's always one or two that uh, keep going. Yeah, I can make sure I grab that turret. Get a few extra kills. I mean, sometimes that can be a waste of money if it doesn't kill that many, but sometimes it, uh, it helps. Oh, here they come. Make sure you call that lander as soon as possible. To do this sort of thing, you really need all the perks. You never know what you might run into. Juggernaut, especially. The flopper is also a, uh, a good one with the ray gun splash damage. Alright, so here I am just running around trying to get as many as possible. Go back for another one. I get a little greedy here. Because there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Take off. Oh my god, there's one still on there! This is where I panic, this is where I start freaking out, start shooting everywhere, and not even hit them, I'm just freaking out, screaming. Oh, that was very scary. Never seen that happen before, one stays on there. Oh man, everyone was really excited, flipping out. <laughs> my whip very funny moment. My reaction, they say, was, uh, was quite, quite funny. Oh, oh, on the stairs! Somehow I get away from that, that was quite lucky. Actually, no, that was pure skill. <laughs> no, but that was uh, definitely a tight situation.